Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. After welcoming baby daughter Madison with wife Amelia Tank in April, Ollie Merce has been embracing his new role as a dad. But as well as the sleepless nights, dirty nappies, and learning to get his Tommy Tip Pee bottles in a row, the Marry Me singer is enjoying a sexier side to fatherhood, being a DILF. The term, which stands for Dad I'd Like to F asterisk asterisk asterisk, is a label Ollie is comfortable with after hanging out with new dad Joel Domit and father of four Joe Wicks. I caught up with Ollie in an exclusive chat at Flackstock, the festival in memory of Caroline Flack in Berkshire. He told me, I was chatting today with Joel, whose baby is 10 months old, and Joe, who has a 6, week old. I'm sort of in that ballpark now. We're like a little DILF club. Opening up about headlining the show, Ollie also paid tribute to TV presenter Caroline, who he was close friends with. Ollie said, in all the gigs I've done in my career, this is probably the toughest. I'm excited to be doing this for Caroline and her family but I sort of wish we weren't doing this. Denise Van Outen also played a DJ set at the event, which raises money for Charities Mind, Samaritans, and Charlie Waller Trust as well as humanitarian organization Choose Love. Paying tribute to Caroline, Denise told me, even driving here I did feel a bit emotional because you get so caught up that it's a festival and then you suddenly remember there's a real meaning behind this one for all of us, as we all knew Caroline. I was in the car thinking, I wish she could see what everybody's doing. I've got two teenagers with me, obviously one is my daughter, but I was explaining to them what the festival is in aid of because I think it's really important to discuss with young people so they totally understand that you can speak to someone if you're feeling bad mentally. For me, more than anything, that is the reason this is a festival I really wanted my daughter to come to because I think it's important they have an understanding. It's the one festival you wish wasn't happening. But it is, so we make it brilliant for her and for everybody else that needs the support. Jade Thowall is going all out on her first solo album and has enlisted the help of Mike Sabbath, the producer behind Ray's six-time Brit Award-winning My 21st Century Blues. The Little Mix star, who is hoping to hit the top 10 with debut single Angel of My Dreams on Friday, said, I did a lot of speed dating producers and writers to try and find my own people. In the band there was such a formula so I tried to push myself with new people. She has also written tracks with Ray and Tove Lo for the album. Being one of the hardest working women in music has certainly paid off for Dua Lipa. I've learned she made almost 1 million pounds a week in the 12 months to March 2023, with her company, Radical 22 Live LLP, turning over 51.6 million pounds. After expenses, the new rules singer netted 21.7 million pounds, which means £59,000 a day was left in the coffers. The numbers make her one of Britain's highest-earning musicians, only eight years after launching her career. The figures, filed at Company's House, reflect the ticket and merch sales of her future Nostalgia World Tour. Dua's latest earnings will massively boost her fortune after she was ranked 21st in our Channel Day Times Rich List for under 35s last year, with an estimated £75 million. She is now on a break following a busy summer of shows including a headline set at Glastonbury. But she will tour Asia in November before two sell-out gigs at Wembley Stadium next June. Fancy lending me a quid or two, Dua. He landed his 11th No One album on Friday, but now Eminem has something else to celebrate, too. Today, he becomes the latest artist to receive a Brit Billion Award from the BPI. The accolade is given to those who reach 1 billion career streams. So far it has been handed out 39 times and Eminem now joins acts including Queen, Green Day, The Rolling Stones and ABBA. Blake Lively and Gigi Hadid dressed the parts for the New York premiere of Marvel superhero flick Deadpool Wolverine. Gossip Girl star Blake wore red to channel Deadpool, played by her husband Ryan Reynolds. While model Gigi dazzled in a yellow outfit inspired by Wolverine, played by Hugh Jackman. Brit Emma Corrin, who also stars in the film, which hits cinemas tomorrow, was bewitching in a black leotard and